unerlässlich auf Hochtour ist die Notfall. Your emergency equipment is essential for any high alpine tour along with your protective equipment and a few little extras. The number one emergency equipment item is obviously the first aid kit with appropriate contents. Then there is the bivy bag. If you ever have to spend a few hours on the mountain in an emergency situation, your bivy bag will prove indispensable. Your emergency equipment should also include emergency communication, including a cell phone. To call the emergency services, it's 112 for the European emergency call number or 140 for Alpine emergency services in Austria and 911 in the USA. Then there's also this device for emergency situations. This is a kind of emergency transmitter. It is both a GPS device that lets me determine my position and a transmitter that allows me to send an emergency call via satellite even when there's no cell phone network available. Next, we have our protective equipment. Very important, of course, that you have sunglasses with extremely high UV protection. Your protection equipment should also include sun cream and sunblock. Radiation is extremely powerful in high mountain terrain, so you need to protect yourself from the effects of the sun. For directional orientation, another aspect of mountain safety, in addition to a GPS, which can either be an app on your cell phone or a GPS device, you should always carry an analog map. That way, if everything fails, or if your batteries run out, at least you will have a physical map to be on the safe side. We also have a watch, which has a built-in altimeter, and this one also has a compass. So I always have a backup for orientation. Something you should always carry in your backpack, of course, is plenty to drink, food, and energy bars. And if it starts to get dark, an item that is practically essential to your emergency equipment is your headlamp. High alpine tours are long and often start very early. Sometimes you spend the first two hours walking in darkness, so you need a good headlamp. There has to be room for all these items in your backpack, as well as clothing and your hardware. That's why your backpack should be optimally designed. First and foremost, it should have a good carrying system so that you can carry this slightly heavier load comfortably. In general, it should be narrow, but with fastening options for equipment like your ice axe. And ideally, your backpack will have a lid pocket that is height adjustable. This will allow me to sling a rope over the top and extend the lid pocket straps before fastening. Then, a very useful feature is a circumferential zipper. This lets you access the things packed near the bottom, such as your first aid kit. So if there's an injury to deal with, you don't have to unpack the entire backpack, you can get straight into it. To summarize, your equipment will include numerous items, but nowadays these are all lightweight, state-of-the-art, and very compact in design. This means you can stow them all in a 30 to 40 liter backpack. So really, there's not an excessive amount to carry. You'll be well equipped for any possible scenario, and nothing will stand in the way of your high alpine touring adventure.